part three to our watch along of Amir Singh Chamkila. Uh, how about that Amir Zing Singh? Huh? Uh, <laughs> if you saw this on YouTube, just like the other two parts. If you haven't seen the other two parts, please watch the other two parts. Uh, it's gonna be very cut up because of copyright reasons. If you like to see the full and cut version, then you get over to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below, pending comments, so you can go check that out. I feel and like Penn and Teller right now. <laughs> and at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. And uh, so let's just finish this movie, huh? Pop quiz. Who was Ugh. the quiet <laughs> Mark's brother? I don't care. <gasps> the, the dead one. They're all dead now, Corbin. Well, then they're all quiet. Here we go. I don't know who. Harpo. Oh, cool. Can you even name them? You don't even know who the Narcs brothers are. The Narcs brothers? Nah. Bunch of fucking Narcs is what they are. <laughs> उस दिन मुझे समझा गया चमकीला पागल हो चुका है इसके अंदर का डर खत्म हो गया मरा हुआ आदमी है उस दिन उसने भी चमकीले के साथ काम करना छोड़ दिया ग्रुप के बाकी लोग भी डर गए थे गाड़ी पे गोली चलाई कल चमकीले पे भी चला सकते हैं यार कुछ दिन बाहर रह ले पंजाब से फिर सब ठीक हो जाना बड़ी जल्दी भूल जाते हैं लोग हाँ जी हाँ जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल पंजाब के अंदर कोई दूसरा चमकीला खड़ा हो जाएगा कोई दूसरा चमकीला खड़ा हो जाएगा तो यार इतना आसान है चमकीला बन जाना बहुत मुश्किल है भाई ये जो चेतावनी है ना आप पर इसकी आड़ में कोई किसी पेशेवर कातर को पैसे देकर आपसे दुश्मनी निकाल लेगा बात समझ आ रही है कि नहीं कुछ दिन गाने खाड़े छोड़ देने कौन सी बड़ी बात है कौन सी बड़ी बात है यह मेरी पूरी जिंदगी है अगर एक गोली ने मेरी जान लेनी है अगर यही लिखा है तो यह होके रहेगा वो गोली मुझे लग के ही रहेगी पर दुनिया मैंने भी देखी है यह दुनिया ना ये समझदारी से चलती That's नहीं है यह बस true. चलती है ये बंदूक वाले इनका तो काम है गोली चलाना तो ये चलाएंगे हम गाने बजाने वाले हैं हमारा काम है गीत गाना तो हम गाएंगे ले ठंडी रोटी ठंडी रोटी खाऊंगा मैं तुम्हें पता मैं कौन चमकीला ये चमकीला ओए I shot. Are they going to get the money? Two tagi ke log hai ye. Varna ladki inki yam bari padi hai. Ye andar kya kar rahe? Sara kya sara sona hi katta kar rahe ye log. Inko pata hai? Iske baad inko kuch nahi milna. This is a great example of the direction and the score not exploiting the moment, but accentuating the moment. It's all very genuine. That's mm. okay. Janab. Play his music. झूठ 
दिल करे तो सुन लिया कर चमकीला Nice. That's great. Wow. They paid such close attention. Oh. Wow. What a film. Yeah, that is a That is a really really well-made film. I think it's going to stick around all year too. Yeah. That one's uh really well done. Everything about it. Yep. Um I loved how uh, obviously we know Imtiaz Ali is a great director. Loved many of his films, uh, Tamasha. Yeah, uh, probably one of. And we've enjoyed obviously. Diljit every time we've seen him. I think we've only seen three from yeah. my recollection. I think that's correct. I think Udo Punjab, mm -hmm. great job. That's the first he, time he did one Punjabi movie. Uh huh. Uh, and I think this is the third time. Yeah. This is a great performance of his. Yeah. I think he's. I don't know how uh, many other there are in India, but um, probably one of the best um, singer to actors. Uh, For sure. Actors in that I can think of. In India, for sure. Oh. Uh, I thought he did a fantastic job. I loved how the entire... So did she. Yeah, she did. I thought the entire film was really interesting. You guys can tell us that know the story better, obviously, and, like, his his thing. But for two people that, outside of what we learned in maybe a video or two, um, thought we knew he was going to die. Right. And, and he was murdered and that kind of stuff. Um, didn't know anything. And I thought the way it weaved it was interesting. Well done. Because you thought... You would think... Um, like this kind of story, everybody knows he's going to die, so you'd be leading up to that. He kind of just, right in thought, he's like, you know this is going to happen. Bam. Well, I'm not going to, there's a film, there's se there's several films that do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, one of them, many of you are probably writing about, uh, I don't want to give anything away, because there's some films that I could mention that you guys haven't seen and you yeah. haven't seen that do start with, you know, the true story begins with the climax Yeah. Uh, as a shock value. But they often don't go back to it over and over again. Mm -hmm. What they'll do is they'll show you the climactic assassination moment and then go back to the beginning and the whole film leads you back to it. What he chose to do with his writing and direction was to continually bring you back to the reality of don't forget what happened to them. Don't forget where this all leads. Yeah. Don't forget that the preeminent thing that you need to remember about what happened to them is they were unjustly murdered. Yeah. And it looks like, based the way on the film leaves it, no justice was ever brought in any way, shape, or form, and they in that situation don't really know exactly. Who I did think it. The, I think the authorities know damn well who yeah. did it. Well, it could be the authorities, right? Yeah, it could be, but I, I think it's not a matter of did they know. Yeah. I think it's a matter of they're just um, not fine. They're not telling people and not investigating for a lot them. of reasons that yeah. are none of them good. Yeah, no. Uh, and there's a, a a great, great, great film for a lot of a lot of different reasons, but I like the the messaging behind it in terms of um you know you know we say it many times and it's happened all over the world in terms of many different religions trying to dictate how society is run based off of their never ends based off of their uh sensibilities whether it's it never you know, ends christians hindus muslims you know name whatever religion you want um no religion you can dictate your life by whatever religion you like, however you like to live, but do not ever dictate how everybody else wants to live. That is not your job as society, you know, to do that. Um, it's, it happened all over. It happened. It, it still happens here in America. Uh, obviously, the the big religious group here that that does it a lot is the uh, the Christian um, in America that do it and that try to. Um, it's even in politics that happens, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> they try to do that kind of stuff and it's all, you know, bullshit. You can live your life however you want. Just like we say with censorship, you can not watch a film for whatever reason. If you think it's too vulgar, if you think it's, you know, destroying culture, that's, that's your prerogative to not see that movie. I'll never understand. But it. you do not dictate what other people can watch. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and how and they live the, their life. It's the height of hypocrisy. So for me, coming from a, a, a Christian background and having yeah. once been a licensed pastor and worship leader for many, many years, mm -hmm. I can tell you that statistically over the years in the church, for example, you have pastors who are preaching about 
all of the things you should or shouldn't be doing that make you be walking the walk that you're talking the talk and yeah. uh, how you need to live a blameless life, especially if you're in leadership. But statistically, 50 percent of all pastors continually <laughs> are found to have to be addicted to pornography. Yet in the pulpits, they'll be telling people that pornography is evil. And it's the it's that level of hypocrisy in addition to the imposition of anything of religiousness. Uh, like that's one of the main things. It wasn't just taxation without representation. One of the biggest problems that the founding generation had about creating this country and wanted to break away from from England was the fact that there was no separation of church and state. The king of England was the head of the church. Yeah, and you had to be a to be an, a British citizen. You also had to follow the religion of England. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's just I've never understood it because being somebody who's a Christian, I have heard and seen some of the most offensive things I could possibly imagine mm -hmm. to the things that I hold nearest and dearest in my heart that actually hurt me personally to hear them. Mm -hmm. I would never, ever say somebody can't say it. Yeah. Somebody can't make a movie about that. Yeah. Like one of my, I love Ricky Gervais. Ricky has consistently just ridiculed, made fun of and mocked anybody who has any belief in God, let alone the Christian God. <laughs> And I love Ricky, and he has the right to yeah. say, and people have the right to listen to it. And this story, though, obviously, it's very Indian, very Punjab. Yeah. Um, has happened throughout music history, throughout artists' history. Artists' history. history. But obviously, you know, it, it, no one, he wasn't assassinated, but I'm sure he got a lot of threats. Elvis was that way. Um, I, I mentioned NWA. There was a rap group. They got, a, they got arrested. Uh, Lenny is, Bruce, the comedian, yeah, was the Lenny first Bruce. comedian to really use vulgarity was constantly put in jail. Constantly so, put in so jail. It's, it's a common story. Yeah, it is. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> all throughout the world. The freaking theater almost ceased to exist during the Dark Ages because they were run out by the church. Yeah. Uh, to for being, Oddly enough, the church is what brought theater back into the public forum. But, but one of the uh, it's a constant theme of artists of all ilks being persecuted. As are just good people who are just trying to live freely, being persecuted yeah. by those who want to impose their beliefs but even on, on the, others. Even on the non-religious side of this, I loved the fact that from the beginning, it showed the different variations of like, he asked, uh, he saw somebody uh, singing about a boner. And so he started singing about a boner. Right. He got slapped in the face. Next scene, his mom or whoever it was is now laughing about a boner. About him. And then right. the rest of it is... You know, them shameless song, shameless song, and then all of them secretly listening to it all. Exactly. Uh, and shows the hypocrisy of it all. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, you know, I love. I, um, I also loved, it's a smaller thing, but it's really easy to judge him for doing what he did. That moment he had with the reporter was much larger than the space it was given. It was yeah. a really important moment. Yeah. Because... He was pointing out to her, it's really easy to condemn me for quote unquote selling out. You've never been in my position. Yeah. You don't know what it's like. You're you're what people consider to be normal. But the real normal people are the billions like me who have nothing and will do anything we can to survive and get out, let alone thrive. Yeah. So if I need to make dirty songs in order to to, to, to get out of what I was in, I'm going to do it. And you may consider that to be selling out. I don't care what you think of yeah. me. Judge me all you want. And it's easy to judge people like and that he, when you have a position of, uh, you know, entitlement and and blessing. And he was clearly a, a person who always wanted to be um, an artist. Yeah. And he put everything else on the back burner and like did stuff that would knew would help him further, even if it was wrong, like. Man, yeah, somebody with, and that's happened a lot. Like, there's a lot of biographies about famous, famous artists, and like they're just not perfect people. I mean, no, nobody no. is right, but like, uh, you know, Frey Mercury's, you know, Ray uh, Charles, Ray Charles, uh, uh, what's the one that was even though it was like a, kind of not a real biopic, but um, um, Piano Man, um, oh, yeah, no, the, the Elton, that's yeah. Billy Joel, yeah, yeah, the, sorry, no, the Elton no, John sorry. one, yeah, Elton John one. I mean, they're they're all like they're that. all human beings, Elvis. Uh, <laughs> They're all human beings with flaws, uh, like all of us. Uh, it's just, and all of them, I think, put music above everything else. And and basically that was like why they're put on this earth and they make some questionable decisions to make sure they get to that place. And yeah, it's easy to judge them, obviously. Very. But, 
you know, I think a lot of people would probably done the exact same thing. You can't tell until you're in the situation, of course. Right. Um, but we'd all like to say, I was like, oh, I would never do that, ever do that. You don't know till yeah, you're there. You don't know till you're there. You'd hope you wouldn't, right? Yeah, but you don't know till you're there. <laughs> um, but it was, I thought, if this was like a Hollywood film, this would have been nominated for, I think, an Oscar, because I think it's a great biopic. Um, all I can tell was from the little information I know. So you guys, obviously, that know more of the information could tell us how kind of truthful it was. And uh, uh, just you guys know. really, really good job of M.T. Ali and his writing direction and the, the, the work he did with Sylvester Francesca, the cinematographer, and um, Artie Bajaj, the editor, of really propelling everything forward and having no herky-jerkiness of time jump ever. Mm -hmm. It just kept feeling good, including the animation sequences. I love the animation. Yeah, too. it's just it never, it never feels rushed and it never slows down. The pacing just always feels uniform throughout. I never w was caring about the time. Yeah, uh, I just it's a thoroughly enjoyable movie. Was, Everybody did a great job. It felt like a a, a quick two and a half hour. It movie. really did. Um, felt like a ninety minute film. Yeah, it just was, flew by. The because you were just learning so much, and it was engaging. I love the interweaving of like showing the real stuff that happened. Yeah, I love that. Kind of like the the and even picture in picture of like what, what happened. And there, I'm sure there's a lot we missed. Oh yeah, but that's my hope. And it looked as if that Imtiaz really wanted to show everybody the attention to detail that it mattered to him how much he was trying to get right. Mm -hmm. Uh. But I, and Punjabis would be the judges of that. Our, our Nanbar, um, Air Rahman, mm. phenomenal score. Wonderful I'm, obviously score. Obviously, a lot of his songs. I would love to, li like I said, I would love to listen to his songs, but I would like to know the lyrics as well while mm -hmm. I'm watching because you don't get the comedy of it as well. If you're just listening, I'm like, oh, this just sounds like good Punjabi music. Right. And then they're just like great lyrics. Um, your boobs look milky today. Yes. Uh <laughs> Uh, I loved all And the... so many double entendres that I'm sure get lost in translation. We got some of them. I love the the female number when they were really Oh, him, that's one of my for, favorite for moments. It, and then they all kind of got together and Yeah. Uh, that's one of my favorite moments. That was a that was a great moment. Singing about you have a little saw, you can't cut down this forest. Yeah. Uh <laughs> your means to pleasure for yeah, me. And Par Paraniti was from the moment she first came on screen. I believed great. her and was great. And Dilgit, everybody but especially those two. Diljit and uh, yeah, her did a phenomenal job. Everybody else did a, a really great job yeah, as well. Great movie. I love the animation uh, sequences. Hats off. I think I think India should try to do animation. I think they should like do like a full on anime film. Absolutely. Um, I think that because I've been told like a lot of people just assume animation is a children's movie. And so it's not, not looked at, at as like for adults at all. And so that's look what why what, they look, really explore it all. look at what won the Oscar in animation this year, guys. What was it? The Boy and the Heron. Oh, yeah. That is not a kid's movie. Yeah. Uh, it's not a kid's movie at all. Yeah. He's kind of been making movies for a long time. Um, yeah. I, I Thoroughly it enjoyed was, it. It was a really, really, really great film. Yeah. That was one of my favorites of M.T. Az Me Ali's, too. Me too. Um, his films and the score was great. Yep. Um, Cinematography. Yeah. I, there's really, I can't think of anything to really, that was a negative at all. Not at all. Um it was a very, very good film. Yep. Um, let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, well, why? Yeah. Uh, just let me know. I, <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> curious as to maybe it was uh, not truthful. I don't know. You guys can uh, would love yeah. to know the, the actual, uh, what people that know the story uh, think about this one. Um, but let us know what our next uh, watch along should be for Hindi. If you're seeing this on YouTube, obviously you saw a very cut up version. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, though, you can have the Patreon. I'll put a link description below, pinned comments, so you can go check that out. And um, on to the next watch along.